So if I were to ask you, how many centimeters are there in a mile? What would you say? Or if I asked you, how many milliliters are there in a two-quart cup of Gatorade? How would you answer that one? This chapter is going to look at conversion problems. And the way that we set them up is we focus on our units. So welcome to lesson four of our scientific measurement unit. This lesson is titled Conversion Factors, and we move into chapter four in your textbook. So as I told you, we're dealing with conversion problems. And before we even get there, we're going to talk about how do you solve a problem? What's the logical pathway to go from the start to the finish? And as you can see, we have some resource for you. We have some chapter four notes dealing with problem solving and the corresponding fill in the blank. And then we'll focus on some worksheets and some practice problems, of course. And in this unit in particular, there are uh, several extra resources that might help you if you feel like you need the extra help. And so you can check out these um, different links um, to different websites that might provide some additional assistance. So by the end of this chapter, if I say to you, how many ounces are in 17 kilograms of rock? You're going to have no problem answering that question. So good luck. We're almost through this chapter. We'll have a test be coming up soon. So let me know if you have any problems. Good luck. Thanks.